Heidelberg is a great community to be a part of, um, that it's a very supportive community, that it's a place where people want to see other people succeed. Welcome back to another installment of Faculty Friday. We are here in the Honors House at Heidelberg University with Dr. Isaacson. Thank you so much for being here with us. So I'm just going to start and ask you some questions about yourself. So where are you from? I went to high school in Aurora, Illinois. So that's pretty much my hometown, but I moved around a lot growing up and I went to college in a uh, small college in Illinois and I went to grad school in Missouri. So that was my next question. So, <laughs> so what do you teach here at Heidelberg? So I teach courses in the English department. I am responsible for teaching Shakespeare, women's literature, um, some writing courses, as well as some early British literature. And then I teach courses in the honors program, including the honors 111 the introduction course to the program. So can you tell us a bit about the honors program here? So the honors program is for our top academic achievers and it's a program that provides an alternative to the general education program that most students take. So we have special seminars for honors students that are honors only and the students take a series of support courses that complement those as well as a senior project um, and a civic engagement program. What's your favorite part about the honors program? I think it's working with individual students. It's um, really sort of the opportunity to work individually with students, help guide students through a successful career at Heidelberg. Um, and that being able to work with students outside the English major, so in any major, is really um, sort of a great privilege of doing what I do. So what's your favorite part about Heidelberg? Heidelberg is a great community to be a part of, um, that it's a very supportive community, that it's a place where people want to see other people succeed. And I think that that's true for faculty wanting students to succeed, students want other students to succeed, and faculty want other faculty to succeed. And it's been um, a really welcoming place for me, and I hope that I'm able to make it a welcoming place for our students as well. What, if you could change one thing about Heidelberg, what would it be? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> I would always like more English majors. Um, because there's not a lot of us. Know. It's not a huge major, but um, I always want more English majors. Um, and I think that that's actually, it's not so much that I would change, it's, it's I would add to what mm -hmm. we're already doing, right? That we have a lot of great programs and we do have a great English program. Um, and it would be nice to see more students come our way because we're doing some really cool stuff over yeah, there. Yeah, I agree. I want more friends. <laughs> and Katie's more friends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so did you play any sports when you were younger? Um, when I was in high school, I ran cross country all four years of high school. Um, I ran track one year of high school and certainly in middle school. I did that as well. I'm a long distance runner. Um, other sports, you know, I tried out, like, I played youth group volleyball and things like that, um, which was not particularly successful. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely, you know, a big fan of sports. I think student athletes are great. And, um, you know, as one myself in high school, you know, that it was an important part of my life for a long time. What are your favorite sports to watch here at Heidelberg? Um, I do really like, you know, I will watch just about any sport because sports mm -hmm. are fun to watch, right? Sort of the passion behind it. Um, certainly, you know, I've been to football games, been to volleyball games. I need to get to soccer games. <laughs> I fully admit I need to get some more soccer games. Um, but, you know, I will say, I actually, I think my favorite sports in general are fall sports, mm -hmm. right? That there's something about sports in the fall that just really matches up for me. It feels like a time to go be cold and watch people do stuff. <laughs> so do you like soccer? I do like soccer. My brother played soccer for a long time, mm -hmm. so I went to lots and lots of soccer games while he was playing. Well, we have one home game left. So okay, we all gonna get out. All right, it's not this Saturday. It's next Saturday. Okay, and it's our senior day. So okay. It's a good day. We'll <laughs> so we're getting on to the fun question. Okay. Now. Good. So who is your favorite musical artist? Well, <laughs> um, my favorite singer is David Bowie. Mm -hmm. so, um, and has been for a long time. <laughs> If you could have lunch with one celebrity or historical figure, dead or alive, who would you choose and why? Oh, that's a really hard question. <laughs> Lots of people I would love to talk to. Um, I think right now, today, it would be, I think it would be Lady Gaga, because she's oh, just, right, she's really mm -hmm. interesting, and she's um, really interesting at sort of transforming herself, and I think most of my musical favorite musical artists are people who do that. Um, and she's really sort of profoundly aware of what's going on in the world and um, making her own statement in it. Yeah, and that's I a think she'd just be kind of cool to talk to. I think she would have a lot of good things to say. Okay, last one. This is a big one. 
If you could make a rock band out of yourself and three other faculty members, who would you choose? Ooh, that's a really good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I think very clearly, if we are gonna form a rock band, um, we need somebody who's gonna be loud. So I'm gonna pick Dr. DeMeo, mm -hmm. right? That I think she would be an excellent choice there as a lead singer. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pick Dr. Divine because I think he would be a great, uh, he'd be a great rhythm guitarist. Yeah, I think on that. he can get fun. Right, he, oh yeah, yeah definitely, <laughs> definitely. And here, one more. Um, I'm going to suggest Dr. Berger because she has some mm -hmm. secret talents, oh, uh, secret yeah. musical talents that everyone mm -hmm. needs to witness. So yeah. that would be mine. That's yeah. a good choice. I would like to see that right here <laughs> in like the patio. Of the there we go. <laughs> all right. So that's all the questions all right. that I have for you. Thank all you right. so much you for doing You're very welcome. Thanks for and coming over. Make sure you follow us on our social media and stay up to date with everything we post.